yeah, a lot of the listeners may be sitting here going, well, I couldn't do that. Right. Okay. I walked up to a guy, can't tell you his name because I'm still working with him six years later. Okay. Silicon Valley guy. I wanted to find, I wanted to work with him. I knew what he was working on. I knew the party he was going to be at. And luckily, it was Elton John's party, which, funny enough, I saw him on the guest, guest list because I was working the party. So I've been trying to find him. Well, he was coming into my garden. So I was happy about it. So I did my research on this guy. Now, he's not Elon, but he's a big venture capitalist. Okay? And I knew he was working on one of the projects. And I wanted him to work on one of my projects. So I knew what I wanted. Okay? So I did my research on this event. And people love threes. I'm going to tell you the three ways you can get rich. I'm going to tell you the three ways how you can lose weight. I'm going to tell you the three ways how you can get the best night's sleep. I can get you two weight. No, I don't want to know that. <laughs> but if I tell you the three, you're interested. If I tell you five, you're too bored. Yeah. Everyone loves threes. Yeah. So this guy was working Strange on... Strange rule of three. It's weird. Yeah. Okay. So I had seen what he was working on. Okay. And I had to come up with three ways to make what he was working on better. I came up with the first one. Um, and I was thinking, you know, I could see a problem. And it was on the, on the surface. I didn't know the background of the project. But I could see something. The next one was distribution. Because distribution and awareness, amazing money, these are all the common problems. Okay? So I found these. Number three, I had to come up with a third problem that I could overcome. And I was scra and I came up with a real bollocky one. I can't even remember what it was, but I had to nail the three. So I walk into the party. I see him, eyes locked, walking over there. You can see him looking at me. And of course, we, you notice us when we're walking towards you. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. can see the guy go, because <laughs> I'm coming at him. Yeah. You know? And he's now, and I went, hey, how you doing? So it sort of, you know, stance you up. My name's Steve Sims. You don't know me. Okay. All of a sudden, he goes, oh, like this. And then he goes, yeah. And he leads, because now it's kind of like, well, what do you what want? What do you want? Yeah. Right? And I said to him, I said, um, but actually, um, I, I saw something on the news that you're working on this project. And you take it for what it's worth, but I own a consultancy company I did at the, at the time. And I said, and I, I just, got, three things just popped into my mind, how this could trip you up. And I don't know if you uh, looked at it, but would you be interested in me telling you what I noticed? And he went, all right. I went, well, the first one is blah, blah, blah. But I thought if we did this, because no one wants more problems. You don't want me turning up to you and going, hey, Brad, you're putting on weight there. Right. And then walking away. That doesn't right. help you. No. You know? It's just irritating as fuck. Damn right. <laughs> so I went over there and I, I gave him that and a little solution. Yeah. And of course, the solution, who's going to solve that? Me. Right. Number two. Da -da -da. I know you're saying you may not have this in place, but... You know, I know that with our clients, we've worked on that. So, you know, maybe you can get someone to do that. Of course, again, expose the solution. You look like the solution. Yeah. So mm. third one was blah, blah, blah. And I gave him to him. And he's looking at me. And he's got a few of his little entourage around him. And they're looking at me. And they're kind of like, who's this weird biker that's come over here that's just kind of like telling us about his company? And they're all looking at me inquisitive. Now, I'm focusing on them and their problem. So they're not really focusing on who is this guy. They're now focusing on the solutions I've given him. Mm. He starts to laugh. And I'm on about damn near peeing himself. And I'm like, that wasn't the response I wanted. <laughs> uh, but he's giggling away. And I'm like, all right, all right. And it's going on. He looks at his lackeys. They start laughing. Because now they've been given permission by sure. him to laugh at me. Now... I'm not the kind of guy that wants to get laughed at too much. So I've let it go on for a few seconds. And I'm like, all right, can't win them all. You know, this one's died. And I walk away. I go to walk away. And he's bigger than me. And he puts his hand on my shoulder to grab me, to pull me back. Guy's laughing at me. His, his lackeys are laughing at me. And now he's got his hands on me. Right. This needs to go well quick before it goes bad. <laughs> So I turn around to him, and I'm not fully turned around, but my head's turned around. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He said, but we closed that project about eight months ago. Oh. We shut it down. It was because of number two. That you have walked up into a party, 
seen while knowing nothing about the project and offered a potential solution. He said, that may have actually rescued that project. He said, now aren't they never revisit the dead? So we're not going to launch that. But would you be willing to work on Retainer and have a look at some of our future projects? Oh, wow. People want solutions.